Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. In this video, we are going to learn about differential equations which can be reduced into variable separable by means of uh, some very simple substitution. Okay, so you can try the first question. Let's say we have a question like solve dy by dx is equal to 4x plus y plus 1 the whole squared. The method is very easy. You just take 4x plus y plus 1 is equal to some letter. Anyway, I am going to call it T. You can call it Z. You can call it W. You can call any letter other than X and Y. Now, what you do is you differentiate throughout with respect to x. We know that we have to differentiate with respect to x because I saw dy by dx. So we get 4 into 1 plus the derivative of y with respect to x that will be dy by dx plus the derivative of 1 and that will be 0 is equal to dt by dx. Okay, now you tell me what will be dy by dx from here. So, dy by dx will be dt by dx minus 4. Okay, I will keep it in a box. Now, substitute this and trust me, it will be variable separable. So, what can we plug in instead of dy by dx? dt by dx minus 4. And that will be equal to how much? Yeah, t squared because you call this as t. Like I told you in the last video, now what we do is we have two variables t and x and it is guaranteed it will become variable separable. So, we can write this as 4 plus t square or 2 square plus t square and separating we get 1 by 2 square plus t square is equal to dx. So, we are already separated. So, time to integrate. Okay. By the way, for some of you, this will be useful. Integration 1 by a square plus x square. I hope you have seen this integral in class 11 or class 12, most probably in class 12. And this is nothing but 1 by a tan inverse x by a. And do not forget the fact x is the variable of integration and a is a constant. So, when you look at the first integral, look, the variable of integration is t. And of course, 2 is a constant. So, we get 1 by 2 tan inverse t by 2 is equal to x plus c. If you want, you can stop it here, but that won't look good because uh, we plugged in t. We have to replace everything with x and y as given in the question. So, let us try to make it a little bit better. So, tan inverse t by 2 is equal to, you can cross multiply this, you will get 2x plus 2c, 2c is another constant, so I am going to keep it c. Now, you can take tan on both sides. So, if you take tan on both sides, you can see that this becomes the identity function. So, t by 2 will be, that is t is equal to 2 tan 2x plus c. Now, what is t? I hope you still remember the value of t. Okay, so you can stop it here. Okay, let us try one more question like this. Okay, so solve dy by dx is equal to 1 plus tan y minus x. The method is very, 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 very simple. You can see that the whole stuff comes as an argument of tan. So, put y minus x is equal to any variable you like, I am using t. Then differentiate throughout with respect to x. And from here, you try to construct whatever we want here, that is dy by dx. So, 
1 plus dt by dx is equal to 1 plus tan come on tell me what is our y minus x that's it 1 by tan t by the way what is 1 by tan t cot time to integrate can you look at the formula list and tell me what is integral of cot integral cot yeah yeah that is it log sin t so that will be x plus c now we can replace t that is log sin y minus x is equal to x plus c if you want you can leave it as such and if you want to take inverse of logarithm you can take that's your wish now let's try one more question solve the differential equation cos x plus y dy is equal to dx Okay, now I hope you understood what to do. So, we are going to plug in x plus y is equal to and then we differentiate throughout by x with respect to x. So, what is the derivative of x? So, what will be dy by dx equal to? Okay, now let us rearrange this a little bit. Okay, I hope you are able to understand this part. So, what can we do with dy by dx? We can write dt by dx minus 1 is equal to 1 by so dt by dx is equal to 1 plus it will not become variable separable. So, look at this. So, dt by dx is equal to uh, take LCM. So, you will get 1 plus cos t by cos t. So, that gives us cos t divided by 1 plus cos t dt is equal to dx. 1 plus cos t minus 1 by 1 plus cos t. Uh, this step is very important. Normally, normally when we have the same quantity in the numerator and denominator, we try to bring in the denominator in the numerator. That means you can see that the denominator is 1 plus cos t. So, I am creating that 1 plus cos t in the numerator by adding and subtracting 1. Now, remember the fact a plus b the whole divided by c is a by c plus b by c. So, this is going to give you this yeah, 1. Now, for those who do not know the formula, I will put it here. 1 plus cos theta is, so we get integral 1 minus. So, tell me what will happen to 1 plus cos t? Yeah, 1 by. Now, one more step and we are ready for integration. Uh, integral 1 minus. So, cos becomes so, let me ask you a question. What is the differentiation of tan t? Soon you will tell me the answer, sec square t. So, what is the integration of sec square t? That will be tan t. Okay, so we are ready for integration. Integration of 1 with respect to t. And what is integration of sec square t? It will be tan t by 2 the whole divided by 1 by 2. So, this will get cancelled. Now, what is t? x plus y minus tan x plus y by 2. So, if you want you can write this as Now, let us do one more small question. Okay, please write solve x plus y plus 1 times dy by dx is equal to 1. So, as usual, now you know very well what to do x plus y plus 1 is equal to t. Differentiating with respect to x. So, dy by dx will be 
dt by dx minus 1. So look at this, this is going to be t and from here you know what to do dt by dx minus 1 equal to 1 by t is equal to 1 plus 1 by t. I hope you understood, I skipped one step. Now take LCM and that will give us t by 1 plus t dt. Okay, now do not forget when you have the same degree, when you have the same degree, the method is very simple. Create the denominator. What is the denominator? 1 plus t. So, just add 1 and subtract 1 and divide separately. You can see the second term and first term. Divide separately. So, this will get cancelled. Integration of 1 is t. Let us do one more question. So, please write solve the differential equation dy by dx plus 1 is equal to e to the power x plus y. This is very very easy. All I have to do is put x plus y is equal to t. So, that 1 plus dy by dx is equal to dt by dx and etcetera etcetera. So, this was one very simple video reducible to variable separable, but now the next video is very important and a little bit hard than uh, what you call in comparison to this. This was one of the most easiest type, but the next one is called homogeneous differential equation. So, I will be back with that video. So, till then um, you can complete this problem and you can tell me whether you got the answer or not and I will be back soon with homogeneous differential equation. So, till then my friends, bye.